I want it this love. I want real real love. Down no eke, manjip chung it, chong do seke, nari kune kasho wa tiere. What is up everyone, I'm Ross, I'm a data scientist, and today I'm gonna teach you something you didn't already know about BTS's new album, Love Yourself. We're gonna use machine learning to find out what song in the album is the happiest and what song is the saddest, according to the computer that is. And we're gonna take a look at some of BTS's most unique words in K-pop, and they don't appear in any other songs. Here we can see each member's percent English lyrics before the release of Love Yourself. Suga has the least percent English lyrics and Jungkook has the most. But when we look at data from the new songs in the new album, we notice something very different. With the release of the new album, we see all members getting an increase in English lyrics except for V, but that's okay because he's awesome no matter what. And we see that as BTS becomes more and more famous internationally, they're starting to use a little bit more English lyrics in their songs and I kind of like this because I can understand more of them easily. In the entire album, there's a lot of unique words that don't get used anywhere in K-pop, but I'm just gonna go over a few. One is Anpanman, and it's about a Japanese children's anime. Another is Euphoria, and that's a pretty cool word, pretty big too. And another is JKLMNOPQRS. And that's actually not the first time they've sung the alphabet. Here is J-Hope singing the Korean alphabet. I don't know if you picked it up, but before they said J-K-L-M-N-O-P, they actually said the F word. And in this new album, there's actually some vulgar language, which isn't too common in K-pop. There's also some Korean swears too, and I will say they do a great job of keeping it classy. So in the song Mic Drop, Rap Monster says, Ke hangbok, and that means like freaking happy, but it's the kind of freaking that you wouldn't say in front of your parents if you know what I mean. All right, now time for machine learning. So we're gonna have the computer take a look at the lyrics in the album and find out which songs are the happiest and what songs are the saddest. And before we do that, I just want to ask you guys the question, what do you think is the happiest and which one is the saddest song in their new album? Personally, I thought I'm fine might have been like the like most positive. And then I thought the saddest was probably fake love. So how did machine learning do when it came to identifying happy and sad songs? I would say it did a pretty good job. Overall, it was able to get most of the songs in the right category and it identified C as the saddest song by BTS. And if you look at the lyrics for that song, it is pretty depressing. And it identified the happiest song as Trivia Love. And that song is actually pretty good. I really liked it too. Um, that's also the song where uh, Rap Monster sings uh, part of the alphabet. Another interesting thing to note is that you can really see the highs and lows that are in the lyrics throughout the course of the albums. There's some really happy songs and then some really sad songs, which is very cool in my opinion for to include all of that in one album. So my favorite BTS member is Suga, and I was wondering what Machine Learning thinks about his lyrics in this new album. So overall, it seems that J-Hope and Rap Monsta's lyrics were by far the saddest, and Jimin and Jungkook had the happiest lyrics in this new album. However, Jean, Suga, and V, there, there is not too much, there's no big like spikes or anything indicating whether they had a overall negative or positive lyrics. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you could just let me know what you found interesting, what else maybe you'd want to know about their lyrics or maybe another group. I'd love to answer any questions. And if you want, subscribe. I'll make more videos. Thank you.